Let's get to the new manager. It's almost like you were looking ahead in the rundown. <laughs> the Athletic, specifically Meg Linehan, uh, reporting that U.S. soccer has three names in specific on their shortlist. They are Tony Gustafson, who of course is the uh, ex-U.S. Women's National Team assistant under Jill Ellis. He was managing Australia at the last World Cup. There's uh, Joe Montemuro, who we don't know too much about, but he is managing at Juventus now in the Italian top flight. Uh, and then last but not least is the name that probably is most familiar to NWSL fans, and that of course is Laura Harvey, been around the league forever, uh, most recently and currently with O.L. Reign. All right, so Herc, what do you think uh, of the candidates that we've got there? Among them, do you have a favorite? to take over the U.S. Women's National Team job. All right, Montemoro and, and Laura Harvey have never coached at the international level. They would be okay. rookies, novices at this. Uh, the best candidate in the world, because according to Matt Crocker, he says, we're looking for the best candidate in the world. That mm. would be Serena Wiegman, and she's not oh. available. So if you go okay. off that, the next best would be Tony Gustafsson. Just, he's the most decorated uh, can it available to okay. you? You're sticking to the international game. You're not going into like club managers because I throw like an Emma Hayes or somebody in there. You're sticking to international experience managers. Well, Got hold, it. hold on. I, it's the best fit for this team out of these candidates, right? Because the candidates are the candidates for Matt Crocker. So if we're going off what Matt Crocker and the reports say, it's one of these three. The best candidate is Tony Gustafsson. He's the most decorated coach. You saw what Australia did. Australia got a deep run, semifinals, without mm -hmm. their best player, Sam Kerr. Like, mm -hmm. obviously has experience at the international level, knows this pool of players, can be enticed, I believe he's still under contracts, so you may have to buy him out, may be enticed mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the U.S. women's national team of actually building something. I think he's the best fit. I repeat, Serena Wiegmann is the best candidate out there. So if Matt Crocker mm -hmm. wants the best candidate, that's her. But in his data-driven craze, okay, it's Tony Gustafsson, and he's the best candidate of these three. It's data-driven craze, Herc. It's also like availability, right? We are in between major tournaments, so you're not going to have access to the, the entirety of the pool of managerial talent. That's just the reality. In fact, I think that's probably, I agree with you that Gustafsson may be the best fit of the three, but I think that actually is probably going to keep them from getting Gustafsson. I think he may end up staying with Australia. He's talked about wanting more investment from the Federation. Maybe he could use the supposed interest here from the U.S. to get a better job, to get more support for his team. But I could see him wanting to stick out at least this cycle with Australia. Montemuro, I don't think we know enough about him. I think at this point it'd be a, a real shot in the dark. If you're Matt Crocker, do you really want to go that far out on a limb with your hire, such an important hire? I think Laura Harvey is the smart and likely choice here. She's been around the Federation forever. She's been around the league forever, Herc. She's very well respected. And she is a safe fit if you're Matt Crocker because you can hire her, you can take her what? through the Olympics. If things go wonderful, you keep her on. If things go badly, you get rid of her quietly. Nobody's going to make a stink. And then as Matt Crocker, now you can really go out and hire your person with the entire pool available to you. I, I believe Laura Harvey was one of the candidates in 2019, right? Lost mm -hmm. out to, uh, to Vlako Andonovsky and ended up coaching under Vlako Andonovsky. She had mm -hmm. the, the U20. How similar to Vlako would this be? That is my Ooh. worry. That mm. is my worry here, Seb. You're going back to where you once were. You're not doing what the rest of the world is doing. You're not trying to be proactive. You're not trying to, to, to be innovative. You're not trying to get the mm -hmm. best candidate out there if you're telling me it's Laura Harvey. Uh, those are my reservations.